What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just got over here to the shop. I'm at BK Performance. I actually been over here for a little while and see I'm already sweating. The other head is on the car. Toothache is feeling a little bit better today. Tomorrow that tooth is gonna be gone. So I imagine I'm gonna be gone for a couple days. It's a molar that is giving me a problem. So not looking forward to going to the dentist. The dentist is not my favorite uh, experience. Uh, I am a little bit of a pansy. So they're gonna have to baby me, baby me through it. So hopefully it'll work out okay. And we can uh, get this thing <laughs> completely together and into car by the weekend is the game plan. We'll see how it goes. Let me show you what we got going on. Head on over to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. We are racing this weekend, hopefully with Randy's car. You're gonna be getting an update probably on the next video on his car. I'll show you what's going on with it. So we're gonna be at Rockingham for TKM's race. Check it out, guys. All right, guys, so movie magic. Uh, I did get the lifters in on this side before I put the head on it, unlike last time. Um, I just need to clear these things. The, the lifters actually hit the bottom of the head there, and so they won't quite come out. So you can see that they're close, but not quite there under the head here and over here. Probably need to fix that so that if we have a lifter failure, we don't have to pull the head off of it. But anyway, got these things torqued down. We went through the process, uh, torqued it down, actually run it down with the impact gun, just zinged it down to about 20 foot pounds, do it into order. Then I went to 50 foot pounds and you work in a circle and work your way out. Uh, then I went to 70 pounds, um, went through, made sure everything was at 70. It was good. Uh, then I broke them loose and then went back to 70 again. And actually went over here to this side. This is the ones I torqued down last night. They are still on 70 as well. So they've hit 70 uh, once actually they've hit 70 twice three times three times is what they've hit it total um so that's what we're going to go with for now guys i have no idea why i kept saying 70 foot pounds i torqued them to 75 foot pounds i can get this thing warmed up in the car and then we'll do a uh, take the rock arms back off of it headers back off of it and then do another retorque uh in the car so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the valve train on it. Go ahead and get the rock arms on it. We are using the same rock arms that we had last time. Uh, push rods, I'm gonna mess with them a little bit. I got some lash caps. If y'all don't know what lash caps are, uh, let me show you. This is what a lash cap is. Uh, basically, it just goes right here on top of the valve and it's basically hardened steel. And what it is, is uh, I think it's 70 or 80 thousand stick. And basically it's just a, instead of the rocker wearing on the on the tip here, that is a little bit weaker, this is hardened steel and it will actually, uh, you know, not wear the valve out. Uh, if you have titanium valves or if you have the smaller valves, they always recommend these, but these are 11 32nd valves. So generally you don't have to. There was just a couple of them that kind of looked a little funny on the wear. I mean, they weren't terrible, but uh, you could tell that they were wearing a little different uh, than some of the other ones. So I may put the lash caps on it, I don't know yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rock arms on it. And then we'll see, let's see how long my push rods are. If my push rods are close, then um, if, I may, if I have the adjustability in the rockers uh, with the, the uh, adjuster, if I can screw it far enough up in the stand, then we may be okay. I would like to put the, the lash caps on it, but I may not be able to. Let's check it out. All right guys, so 100%, these push rods are going to be too long if we want to run the lash caps. The ones that are in here now are 135 wall, cam motion, geez, y'all can't even see Cam that. motion, uh, 7.45, 135 wall. Uh, so yeah, probably needs to be at least 50,000 shorter, maybe, maybe even 100, but you don't want to stick the, uh, you don't want to stick the adjuster out too far or too far in. So what happens is these adjusters, ideally you would set about in the middle. Uh, so you, you run them all the way in and then turn them, uh, I think it said two rounds out. I think the maximum you can turn it out is three if I remember correctly. But basically these things don't, you notice they don't oil like normal. Uh, so it actually has oil in that feeds the bearings in there. So you just have to be careful on uh, if you run it too far out or too far in, it may actually block the oil flow. 
So uh, we're gonna put it back together with no lash caps and uh, I may order some. And next time we have this thing um, to a point where we can put them on there, you know, we, we can. Uh, I mean, not that big a deal. I mean, the, the valves are, like I said, they just had a little bit of wear uh, and I was gonna put the lash caps on it, but we'll throw those in the trailer. All right, let's put these rockers on real fast and adjust them. All right guys, well we are one step closer. All the rockers are on and adjusted. Uh, very easy to do when you have this LSEM tool. Makes it, it's a torque wrench, makes it super easy to do. <clears throat> so the way you adjust valves, I've uh, went over this a lot before. When the exhaust valve just begins to open, you adjust the intake side. And when the intake valve has gone past full lift, and is beginning to close and is almost closed. That's when you adjust the exhaust valve. So that's on every engine uh, that there is. That's the way you adjust them. If you look at the intake exhaust, uh, you can do them individually. You can do it fire in order and all that other stuff too, where you don't have to turn this over as much, but I like doing it individually because I like to sweat and I like to make sure that, that they're done properly. That's the way I do it properly anyway. So I uh, went ahead and rolled the motor back. It was on the compression stroke. Uh, now, so zero is over here. Uh, it was on the compression stroke. I rolled it back 180 degrees. And so now when we stab our crank sink, sink in, 180 to 205 degrees ish, 195 I think is optimal. Uh, so in that 180 to 195, 205, I think you got plus or minus like 20 or 30 degrees too. Uh, then that's where you stab in the cam sink and it should fire right up usually it does so i'm gonna go ahead and bolt on the front of the motor real fast uh all i got is the crank signal the crank pickup uh 36-1 and the mandrel and i think that's gonna be it for tonight <laughs> 